Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for ways to level up your Squarespace website with code. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through three recent code additions or adjustments I made on my website. And you can see where I found the code and what it does on my website and why I used it. I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace Circle member and authorized trainer. And I would love to help you get the most out of your Squarespace website. All right, let's dive in. Hi, in this video, I wanted to walk you through three of the most recent code snippets I've used on my website. Two of them you can see here on the homepage. The first is this typewriter effect. So you can see it looks like it's typing out for authors, for coaches, for service providers. The second is this quiz button. So you'll notice when I roll over it, it grows. So you know that you can click it. But also when I scroll, it spins, which is super fun. And if I click that, it's going to take me to the quiz page on my website. Now, the last bit of code that I've updated recently is actually on my blog sidebar. So let's go into any of these. And you can see here that I have a sidebar that appears on every single one of my blog posts, because when somebody searches for something and ends up in your blog, it's good to give them some context. So I have a sidebar here with a photo of me, a little bit about the blog and what to expect, some featured posts, and my lead magnet. And that appears on every single one of my blog posts. So let me show you where I found all of these codes. Now, the first is the typewriter effect. And I actually found this for free at Beatrice Caraballo's website. She has this fantastic code base. And it allows you to search by category, version of Squarespace, what block you want to target. So for me, I just came in and looked for the text block. And it's the first one here, create a typewriter effect for headings in Squarespace. And this works on both the most recent version of Squarespace 7.1 and the prior version 7.0. So if you're on either of those versions of Squarespace, this code will work for you. And Beatrice has a ton of other free code as well. All right, the second code that I've used is this spinning button. And I'll click it for the quiz. And this I found at Will Myers Code Curious Membership. So if you are a Squarespace web designer and you want to have a very full library of premium customizations, this is a great place to join. It's $15 a month. You can cancel anytime and you can use these on your own website, on client websites. There are some amazing options in here. So we'll send out a weekly email with information about coding and the customization. So not only do you have this library, you're actually learning how to use the code. So I think it's absolutely worth $15 a month. And I'll drop a link in the YouTube description if you want to take a look and check it out. Now, last but not least, let's go back and take a look at my blog and the sidebar here. So this sidebar is a plugin that I purchased from SQSP Themes. So if you go to sqspthemes.com and go to plugins, there are a ton of premium Squarespace plugins here that you can purchase, and you have the option of purchasing it as one license, or if you're a Squarespace designer, you can purchase a business license and use it on any project you want. My favorites are the blog sidebar. So if I click blog here, you'll see that there is the sidebar plugin. I also am a big fan of this related posts and products plugin too. Those are two that I use on my own website. So I'll drop a link to SQSP themes below if you're interested in checking out those plugins. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.